Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we'll be painting five basic florals. So let's get started. The first one is the rose. So for the rose, I'm making a circle. So take some pink and make a circle like this. Next, take some red color and start making the alphabet C. As you can see over here, I am making C shapes in an irregular manner. And that's all you have to do. So our rose is ready. The next flower is daisy. So for the daisy, make a circle like this and then start painting the petals. Now there are two ways of painting the petals. This is the first way where you make the outline and then fill in. And the next way is to just put pressure on your brush and make the petal. Now if you find the second one difficult, then just do the outlining one. It's super 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 simple. So as you can see, I'm using both ways to make the petals. So make the outline of the petal and then fill in the petal. So the main petals are now made. So as you can see now I'm filling in the gaps. So after making the main petals, start making these smaller petals to fill the gap in between. This will make the daisy look more fuller and dense. So this is how we make the daisy. At this point my rose is looking a bit dull. So I'm taking a baby pink shade and making the alphabet C. Now this is a very important tip in acrylic painting. Anytime you notice that your painting is looking dull, you can take a shade lighter and layer it up. And when you layer with a lighter shade, you see that your painting becomes instantly very pretty and bright. As you can see, my rose was looking dull, but I took a shade lighter than the previous shade which is a baby pink and now that I'm applying baby pink, the rose looks much prettier. The third flower that we are making is a sunflower. So for the sunflower, make a brown bulb of the flower and then start painting petals like this. Now the difference between a daisy and a sunflower is that the petals of the sunflower have to be pointy. So make sure that you make pointy petals like this. So I'm taking a yellow shade and painting these petals. I'm quickly gonna paint that. I've made the main petals and again now I'm filling in the in-between. So these small petals again have to be very pointy and it has to fill in the gaps between the petals and try to make your sunflower look extremely dense and full. For the next step, I'm taking a shade lighter and painting on top of the existing petals. All you had to do was mix some white to your yellow to make this lighter shade of yellow. As you can see, I'm applying this lighter shade of yellow on the existing petals. This makes the painting look much prettier and brighter. For the next step, I'll be taking a darker shade of yellow like this by mixing some yellow and brown and use this mustard shade of yellow to create strokes like this. Now be very careful, do not cover the entire petal with this shade. Just slightly shade it in this manner. For the last step, take some black and complete it like this. And here it is, our sunflower is ready. The next flower that we are making is white flowers. So for the white flowers, make yellow colored circles like this. Now I'll take some lavender shade and start painting tiny petals like this. Do not worry too much about the shape of the petals, it's alright. Wild flowers are supposed to look spontaneous and irregular. Just make sure that you're making tiny flowers that are round in shape with small small petals like this. It's not complicated, just get the shape correct. And here it is, our wild flowers is ready. Next we are painting cone flowers. For cone flowers, start painting semicircles like this. Next, take any color of your choice and start making petals like this from one end of the semicircle to the other end of the semicircle. So as you can see, I started from one edge and now I'm moving to the other end. And this is the last petal I've made. So this is how we make the cone flower. And ta-da, our cone flower is ready. Last but not the least, I'm teaching you guys how to make leaves as well. So as you can see, I'm making simple leaves. All I'm doing is I'm outlining the shape of the leaf and then just filling in with the green color. And here it is, our 5 basic florals in 5 minutes are ready.